We're live. Oh, we're live. Uh, yeah. That, that was very quick. Oh. Hello, Mister. Hello, hello, Rachel. How are you? Uh, now, now, when I talk to you, now everything is great. Oh. <laughs> That, that totally works. It that totally improves totally uh, <laughs> after, after I meet you again. <laughs> not not uh, personally, but uh, like not live, but still. Uh, Zoom also works. Uh, Dr. Day uh, told that energetics uh, distance uh, on distance works as well. It does. It, it, it really yeah, does, yeah. though, you know, because... Yeah, I know. It's actually, me. it's a joke. I, I know it's... Uh, yeah, the, yeah. Uh, works really mm -hmm. so i i saw you singing the other night and i said oh my god dimitri this is beautiful and then i saw that you became an access certified facilitator yeah. and i was like congratulations <laughs> Thank you. having a lot of fun with, with all, all of that yeah so I said, let's do a live. And one of the things that we're really, um, that we reach for is the 10 keys to freedom. There's a book and also I'm starting foundation tomorrow. I'm so excited. It's tomorrow. And there's a new book. And one of my favorite, it's only two pages out of a 91 page manual. Imagine that the 10 keys to freedom. Too little. Yeah, for sure. Oh. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And the 10 keys to freedom are the 10 commandments are literally the way to get free in every moment, particularly if you get stuck in a viewpoint and being right. So I said to you, hey, Dimitri, let's ten pe tell people about the tools that actually allowed us to. Well, for me, anyway, I was trying to get everything right in my life. <laughs> <laughs> nice try. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Jesus Christ. I never get the result, but enjoy the right. <laughs> a friend of mine said the other night on a foundation, I have to go back and listen to her because I get to work with brilliant people. And um, she said, I was I was fighting all my life and I got nothing. There was no reward. And I would say I was trying to get things right all my life and there was no reward. <laughs> there was nothing, like there was no exchange for it, you know? And so the question are the 10 key to freedom you picked the 10 key do you want to tell people about it uh about uh, uh one key or what what well let's go with the one you picked first because it's my favorite okay my my favorite actually it's my uh, favorite tool uh, of access consciousness is a question because it's uh, really i'd love to engage with with future and uh, what I discovered is that when we tend to uh, uh, use our mind uh, exploring the future, actually we are uh, going to the past because that's the only thing we can uh, navigate uh, with our mind. So we think that we, with our mind, go, go to future, but actually, in actuality, we go to the past. So uh, question... I did it today. <laughs> yeah. So question is a tool uh, to engage with the future, uh, like uh, in actuality. Yeah. Uh, and uh, it goes so, so far beyond uh, that we can even imagine, imagine and uh, somehow uh, not only uh, like look in the future, but also uh, choose, create life. And uh, what I discovered is that uh, uh, our my my present time uh, also changes when I look in uh, to the future. Totally. Yeah. Can we can we give people maybe watching this an explanation about living in the question? So this is how I would describe it: is that if you have um, a point of view and it's a conclusion, and a conclusion, nothing else can show up but the conclusion. It's like horses blinkers. And the only thing that can show up is the grain of sand that you're looking at because you're only in one place and one location and you can only occupy that place. That's what it's like when you go to answer our conclusion. And nothing else can show up, only what you decide can show up. So 
when you actually begin to live in the question, and I have to say my favorite question is the basic first question mm -hmm. that I asked in Access, which is what else is possible? Uh -huh. It's like, it's a friend of mine who's here, Michelle, she's like, it's too easy. It's what else is possible? It's too easy. It takes you out of looking at something linear and it takes it, it. It's like it gives you a spherical view of like turning your head and seeing I could do it this way or I could do it this way or I could choose this or I could choose this. So it literally takes away your blindfold and it gives you so many possibilities. And I'm not sure how to put it into words, but what I do know is I've had times in my life where I've been like, ah, how do I make this work? And literally I will ask a question and everything will open up and become more space. True, it's uh, uh, in reality gives you access to the uh, infinite possibilities in life. Uh, you uh, go out uh, of uh, like uh, uh, in my uh, childhood, I always uh, was provided by uh, two options, like two or three options. Me to choose this, uh, uh, this or this. And uh, uh, I uh, like uh, didn't like any of these variants. <laughs> and, <laughs> I said, why, why should I choose uh, uh, from not good stuff? Uh, <laughs> I laugh because because I always talk about this with my friend. It was this way or this way, and we're like, but Nina totally. works. Like, give me more choices, you know? <laughs> yeah, and uh, also I had a conversation recently with my daughter. I uh, go to the shop, pick uh, pictures of different dresses. It was about four, and I uh, wow. go to her and say, uh, choose. <laughs> she, uh, she she said, I want them all. <laughs> I say, no, you can't do this. Uh, you And uh, uh, like, choose as she said, no, I won't all. And I realized that it was my limitations uh, that uh, she uh, should uh, choose only one or maximum, maximum, because I am like good father too. <laughs> not, no, not, not, not. <laughs> not four. Yes, yes. And I like, yeah. Like, can I have it. them all? Like, can I just yeah, have them yeah, all? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, that's uh, the place where we limit our possibilities in life because we uh, uh, think, uh, have an idea that we can choose only one, uh, make one choice or two options for the day. So mm -hmm. I bought, I bought uh, her five dresses. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. So oh and, uh, now I like uh, uh, receive that uh, awareness and it's... Uh, also in uh, my life uh, and uh, I uh, like shift my choices and I start to choose uh, uh, all options that I like. And uh, after that also ask uh, what else is possible. And actually that's uh, the space uh, of uh, navigating uh, really infinite possibilities and abundance in life. And um, that's um, like, um, that's an amazing uh, way of uh, uh, going through life. And also when you have that question, what else is possible? Uh, you uh, don't afraid to make any choices like, uh, because uh, if you have uh, several choices in life, you may, uh, you uh, like uh, can think about this choice uh, two days before make it because it's like a limited choice and we should make it right somehow. But uh, when you leave as a question, uh, what else is possible? You can uh, go on choosing, 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 and uh, uh, going to any direction you would like uh, to go. So that's uh, really key to, to the freedom. And you know, it's so funny. It's so funny. I remember years ago in Ireland and my marriage not working too well, you know, and there's a saying in Ireland, you made your bed, now lay on it. You know, as in like you made your choice, you can't change it. Yeah. And I'm certainly not saying just get married. for You know, like it, that's a big choice. You know what I mean? But if it doesn't work, you always have another choice. You know, whereas we're, we're told that you have to make one choice and stick with it. Like I moved to the Netherlands a year ago and I moved into Italy in September. Like for what reason? The, I think one of the biggest places that we're really, I want to say, cased in 
is that you cannot move from country to country and experience our planet. We live on a beautiful planet. Like I haven't been to Moscow yet in this, in this lifetime and I can't wait to go there because I know I will. So it's like we live on this beautiful planet. My friend is moving back to New Zealand in a couple of weeks time. For what reason can we not like live in all countries or have this, have this significance around here's your home forever now in Ireland. And I have a beautiful house in Ireland. But for what reason do I have to stay? There's other ways, you know, there's other ways you can rent your house. You can, there are so many ways to travel and see the world. But we have this point of view for me. It's like, now you're this age and you must stay here until you die. No, actually, you have another choice. Yeah. It's, uh, it it uh, isn't fun to stick to some big choices. Uh, and a lot of people like to make commitments that if they choose, they make choice. They are not happy with that choice, but still uh, they somehow promise uh, to, uh, to themselves that they should uh, go uh, through a life uh, with that choice. Yeah. And uh, the funny thing, with, and uh, I also had uh, like such, such big choices, and I thought that if I choose something different, then uh, uh, the world uh, go, uh, go mad and everything will be like uh, uh, go crashing. Uh, a lot of people die. Uh, but uh, when I actually uh, like shaking uh, with, a, with a fear in the eyes uh, and go uh, and allow myself to choose something else, it's like it went uh, quite soft <laughs> and mild and I was uh, really uh, surprised. I was uh, like uh, put uh, such uh, significant uh, significance to this and fear to that choice. But when I in actuality go there, it was not so bad, bad and uh, it never is. Yes, it's yes. So, it's uh, so strange. I mean, when I got up and said to my friend, I'm going to move into the Netherlands, she was like, what? I was like, yeah. And I had no significance. What no significance, which is another commandment, is means that you make the choice greater than you. You don't give yourself up for that choice. You actually choose it. What's going to add to my life? And it doesn't. And if it doesn't add to your life, like you have another choice, because the truth about it is we're going to we're going to, you know, we, that's just part of being alive your daughter is going to fuck up my kids you know that's just the way it is but it's it's how we deal with it and how we make another choice you know and that's the big thing for me it's like hey like once you get up and ask another question and keep going what I've been continuously shown is you know there's a line in a book the place that Gary Douglas wrote and it says the kindness and nurturing that consciousness gifts to those who stay when others leave there there is a beautiful life that you can gift yourself a beautiful way of living. And I suppose for me, one of the biggest beauties is that I was in Brazil and I was out with dinner with friends last week. I'll be in London, you know, um, and we can tap in all over the world because we, we actually have the same reach for living, which is we have a reach to live a beautiful life that we actually get to experience our earth and we actually get to experience gratitude and we move in that direction with each other. And that's where the question can really, I wouldn't know you only for the question, you know? We wouldn't, if, if we didn't come out of our comfort zone and ask a question, we wouldn't have all this beauty of receiving and gifting and receiving. And it's, it's a truly a beauty, living in the question is a beautiful way to live. Yeah. Actually, I also, uh, uh, regarding question, I have my, uh, uh, books of questions. I, I write them a, a lot. I have a, would like to share my personal tool. Can I see your uh, book? Yeah, it's like uh, questions. <laughs> question <laughs> book. And I write on the questions there. So uh, it's my uh, morning, morning practice, uh, I wake up and uh, uh, I like look around uh, and uh, mm, just tap into energy what would you would i like to create as my life today what would i like to ask from the universe uh, uh, what what will be fun for me actually it's already a question but i use these questions to make more questions and uh, it's uh, uh, when i started it was uh, not like uh, uh, very 
uh, easy because my uh, mind in the past they used to uh, find answers. So I said, uh, which is what you're trained to do, because you know, yes, yes. you grew up Russian. You're sent into school at what time? Do you, what age do you start start school? Four or five years of age? Uh, five, six, uh, yeah. six, six years, yeah. And once you go into school, you're supposed to have the answers. You know what I mean? So even before school, you <laughs> supposed yeah. to give answers. Yes, and, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And only right answers. And uh, you, uh, even you, uh, if you don't understand uh, right an answers, but it's most of the time, you still should know it and like try to put a lot <laughs> of energy to remember uh, answers that makes no sense for you. <laughs> it's a really hard, hard work. <laughs> it's uh, yeah. Uh, so yeah. Uh, it's, it takes time, uh, and a lot of people uh, on planet function from answers and. Uh, they even if they don't like answers uh, uh, everything around them tends to uh, put pressure on them to give answers and it takes time totally yeah that... i i am um, i have to tell you this is it okay to tell you a story yeah so i have a few people that work with me in the creation of the the business and there's a friend of mine debbie o'brien and she worked in advertising for years and I started working with her and when I would work with her, I'd ask her about like, how are we going to create a business program or, you know, how am I going to become a three day body cast facilitator? And let's take a look at how we create that. And she used to do this. And when I was working with her, I, I really enjoyed when she would look up because I'd see she'd be asking questions, looking, extrapolating the information that's going to give us, you know, what we require to get moving in and what information we require to create, whatever we're creating. And she told me I was working with her about a year because a lot of the time we're detoxing from having to give the right answer and the concentricity and the pressure that that put on, puts on us, you know. And I was working with her and she said, do you know that when I was in board meetings and in planning meetings, um, people used to judge me because I would go quiet um, when they would look for how we're going to create a campaign or and she said, it, it was working with you when we when we were working constantly together and creating constantly together when you would say to me when you would just watch me looking at extrapolating the information so a lot of us would have given up our capacities for me I used to get in trouble for looking out the window at school you know like looking at what I, I required information wise instead of what the teacher was telling me and this is where we give up that ability and that capacity to extrapolate information through question, which is one of the greatest ways for creation, my point of view. Mm -hmm. And we go into this linear answer and this concentricity. And I suppose what we would like people to know is both of us are creating our lives now from living in the question, not only us, but like my friend Michelle and everyone that are using these tools. And it is such a powerful way to live. It really is. Yeah, true story. Actually, it's uh, uh, like uh, a question helps us to go uh, beyond li any linearity. Yeah. Because when you truly ask question without any uh, suggestions by mind, uh, what yeah. the result should be? Because uh, I, I uh, see that uh, some people ask questions, but they already have uh, uh, the right answer in the no. head. Yeah. So uh, when you uh, truly ask question, you uh, you don't know uh, what will be uh, the awareness and what will happen. So it uh, uh, goes uh, beyond any uh, anything that you can imagine, even. Totally, and totally, totally. And I have to say, what shows up. I mean, I had a point of view. I couldn't teach business classes that I wasn't smart enough. You know what I mean? And then the universe was like, Simone Millis's was like, come along to Joy Business. I'd like you to work with us, you know? And I'm like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so it's like, there's so much magic. And if you like magic, um, this is start, start asking questions. And if you like answers, then this isn't for you really. This is if you're willing to actually reach into a magical universe that is willing to give you everything you ask for. Yeah. So, Thanks for being with me today. I loved our. Thank you. Yeah. And, you know, explore this book, The Ten Keys to Freedom. It's a big book. I've read it. I've gone through it like three times fully and I go through it again. And I've got like, yeah, yeah, yep, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>
Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we know what we know what our loves are. Let's be straight. Um, so yeah, so thanks for being here and check out 10 Keys to Freedom, the tools of access consciousness. They allowed us to get happier and actually enjoy being alive. Yeah. And also, I'd like to add that it uh, maybe sometimes uh, uh, sounds simple, like a living question, like simple, but it's so uh, profound and advanced knowledge that we uh, can access that uh, uh, actually this book is uh, the stuff that, uh, that we can explore uh, like uh, whole, our whole life and still not be bored and uh, still uh, uh, find uh, new uh, even new universes uh, in our world so it's uh, it's really uh, maybe a, a journey without end and with is joy and glory yeah. yeah yeah i love what you said it allows us to access universes that we you know yeah what else are we capable of with these tools mm -hmm. truly i'm continuously surprised uh, how to, how does get any better in this? And you know, if if you have any points of views around money, I I I'm like you got me all excited again. Um, I I'm facilitating hey. the foundation. <laughs> I'm facilitating the foundation tomorrow, and someone didn't have the money to do class, you know. And I kept saying, just ask for the money, ask for it. Where can I show off? What wondrous ways can the money come? And I just got the email that she's just paid. And I'm like, honestly, if you're willing to say, where's the money? Gary Douglas doesn't ever have a point of view that you there's not enough. Mm -hmm. His whole philosophy is money is always there. There is always enough. And if you're willing to be, if you're willing to know there's always enough, guess what will find you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So ask a question and um, yeah, we invite you to the tools. I just remembered my favorite money tool. Uh, I, ask, uh, I ask uh, questions about money with uh, uh, with uh, most with my stupid face. Very, uh, where is money waiting for me? Money show up in my life. Where is money? Like empty head. Uh, I remember uh, small birds without brain, and that's uh, the true way to asking questions. Like, how does it uh, get any better than this? What else is <laughs> actually? It's uh, then uh, <laughs> all the all the questions that uh, actually, uh, if you practice this way, it's uh, uh, fun. But still, uh, you. Uh, can guarantee that you go without any expectation of result because you you, uh, <laughs> you make a stupid way, uh, <laughs> stupid uh, look and uh, you don't have any results in the head. So uh, something very really really great uh, can show up in this case. <laughs> can you do it one more time? <laughs> How can it uh, get any better? What uh, glorious future can be created in? Uh, uh, from joy and the ease of uh, present with gratitude to the past. <laughs> you, like, look like, you look like a five-year-old boy. For what what, yeah. we, what universe would say no to that ass? <laughs> yeah, it's a uh, uh, way, way to ask uh, questions. Beautiful. Mm, so gorgeous. So bye from us and um, check out the access to. Thanks you. Thank you for being in my life and in the world. Bye. Bye. See you soon. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.